Hi, welcome to Microeconomics. My name is Mike Fladlin, and I'm your host. And I want to thank my cameraman, Marcus Hill, for giving up his seventh hour to help me make this uh, short blog. This came up in my fourth hour class today, and I wanted to, uh, to share. What's the role of profits, and how do they motivate behavior? Well, we were looking at a graph where we plotted quantity there and total revenue and total cost over there. We assumed a perfectly competitive market in which people are price takers, so the total revenue is a straight line. Then we assumed that total cost, uh, assumed this cubic regression line because of diminishing marginal returns and specialization. Well, what role does profits uh, provide? It gives uh, a business incentives. So if the business makes zero output and their costs would be there, they'd have no incentive to produce since they'd be losing money. But as they expand production, at first they'll break even and then they'll start to make more and more output, their profit will increase. And the profit's the difference between total revenue and total cost. A business then could see the opportunity to make more profits if it expand production because their profit then would increase. It's a hallmark assumption in microeconomics that a business will expand to the point where profits are maximized. And maybe that point's right there. But let's say it is. If profits are right there and they're maximized at that point, a business then, if they are allowed to make a profit, has just produced a huge quantity of output the profits provided an incentive to produce more. As I like to say then, more wants are satisfied and it attacks the economic problem, which is how to satisfy unlimited wants with limited resources. My name is Mike Gladlin, and that concludes this blog.